ओके गाइस बाय सो गाइस वेलकम यू ऑल एंड लेट अस एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट वी हैव अ टर्म कॉल्ड एज ईआरपी सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट ईआरपी गाइस एनीवन नोज व्हाट इज व्हाट व्हाट इट स्टैंड्स व्हाट इट स्टैंड्स फॉर ईआरपी because i oh, that's sorry, why the, my first question was how many of you were working currently because if anyone is working in any other segment guys of the business everyone will be using a erp software in their organization guys right uh, only they will be not knowing yeah. what is the meaning of that erp but everyone has used the erp software in their uh, day to day life also guys right so anyone knows guys what does erp means or what does it stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Correct, guys. Exactly. It stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Good, guys. But how many of you can explain me that? What is exactly Enterprise Resource Planning? Correct, guys. What you have said is exactly correct. It is Enterprise Resource Planning. so how many of you know guys what is exactly enterprise resource planning or where it is helping you uh, in what kind of uh, information or in which segment okay no problem guys anyway i am here to discuss all these things just was uh, looking like how many of you have knowledge about this no problem guys so let us try to understand this guys before uh, so enterprise resource planning guys is a very simple concept or you can say it is a basic subject like thing uh where everyone can learn this and everyone has to go through this uh, uh this kind of thing uh when they join any industry guys i'm not saying only for the sap related industry but any industry you join you have to use erp tools or softwares what we call but what is the meaning of this guys enterprise resource planning see guys it has got simple three words right uh what is the first word guys enterprise right what is the meaning of enterprise What is the meaning business. of business? Business. Correct. It's business. Second so company. A company. Okay. Good. Correct. Any other definition? Correct, guys. A business, a company, a organization, a entity. Uh, what I say, a institute, a college. All right. Any anyone, guys, who is running basically a business, uh, is an is an enterprise case. Right. I hope everyone agree with that. Right. so let us take an example of a tata motors enterprise i hope everyone is familiar with tata motors everyone knows tata motors yes sir okay yes sir yes sir so guys what are the resources of tata motors what is the meaning of resource guys resources based on which the company is earning the profit or working on it is nothing but a resource of the company what are the resources of tata motors case the, the machines which are, are using, using the, the in the in company correct guys machines very good machines are there uh, based on which we are going to convert our raw material into finished material is yes? okay correct then manpower man sir exactly guys very good manpower is required without manpower you cannot run the machines also guys manpower means the employees of the industry of that organization yes, correct guys employees are there correct anything else financial and physical value added financial and physical equipment sir correct guys so all those equipments uh, measurement tools or you can take the materials present in the company some are intangible some are tangible assets right of the company the buildings uh, the offices the furniture company good 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 yeah guys company good 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 the stakeholders uh -huh. of the company all these are a resource of that enterprise guys okay all are a resources of that enterprise because everyone is helping the company to grow by putting their efforts in that so everything is whatever is is involved 
uh, in getting the company's growth is nothing but the resource of that company is right so tata motors resource are those many now guys let me ask you one question can you manage all these resources without planning No, 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 not possible, right, guys? Because we know that planning is required to manage each and everything in an industry, right? So, leave about industry, even to manage our day to day life, right? We need a proper plan. So, any tool or anything, any subject which is going to help an enterprise to manage their resources with a well proper planned structure is called as ERP software or ERP subject. Understanding guys? So in some of the curriculum, at least I can see that in engineering and all, they have got an elective subject called as ERP subject, but I don't know how many of you will elect that, but that is a very important crucial uh, thing where a lot of uh, techniques, methodologies are defined to work with an enterprise and manage their resources. but we know that guys nowadays without computers we cannot sustain in the market right so everything is there with internet and computers nowadays that is nothing but when i say computers then the applications will come into play or in short we call it as apps right so these are the softwares in short the softwares are needed for each and everything in today's world guys right so these erp are converted in terms of softwares the erp subject is converted into terms of softwares where we are going to uh, maintain a lot of data to manage uh, the resources of the organization and use it whenever and wherever required okay, guys. so i have given some definitions let us go through that definition and try to understand much in depth way what does this actual erp is all about <clears throat> so as you can see guys on the screen so the first part I have written it as ERP enterprise resource planning is an integrated management of the main business processes often in real time and mediated by softwares and technology nowadays it is based on completely software and technology in the case so what is usually referred to it is usually referred to a category of business management softwares so do you know we call it as BPM companies do you know what is BPM companies guys BPM companies. BPM means what guys? Business process management companies. Okay. So we call them IT companies and all. So most of the IT companies are BPM segment industries guys. They are going to manage the businesses of their clients. Right. So these are called BPM. Business process management companies. So in those companies, we need these business management softwares, which are nothing but ERP softwares. So typically a suit for integrated applications. So an organization can use it to collect, store and manage and interpret the data. Now this term is very, very important is managing the data. What most of you are doing guys, when you work in any industry, do you, do you manage the data of your organization? Have you come across any time? I hope everyone, whoever is working, right? They have to manage one or the other data of their organization that is nothing but we call it as when we manage the data we are making a planning for the future by managing it guys understanding i can take a simple example also of uh, your school days guys <coughs> let me take an example guys now say uh, i hope everyone has gone to college right so uh, how used to your uh, your teacher uh, right uh, used to collect the attendance guys How she or he used to collect the attendance of your? <coughs> On the register book, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ledger book or register book, whatever it is there. So they, they had everything on the, uh, what I say, with the respect to the roll numbers arrangement and they used to take it, right? Nowadays, at least it is well advanced and uh, most of the uh, industry or we can say education system is turning to software. So even they are implementing ERP software. So we'll come to that. So let us say now, <clears throat> now you go to the college case and uh, you say that you want your last semester's attendance status. 
do you think your college will be able to provide that yes sir yes guys yes sir miss tell tell until and unless you have attended the classes guys not bunked everything last semester bole to kon betne wala classes hai ke nahi but still just a uh, joking apart but still i'm asking if anyone goes to the college now and if they ask uh, or suppose if if you ask uh, give me the last semester attendance status of your sir of only yours so do you think your college will be able to provide that in detailed manner like how many classes you were attended how many classes you were absent uh, what is the percentage of attendance they say no 85 percent attendance i don't know how many of you have got 85 percent <clears throat> but still guys right so do you think will that be available within a quick time you just go to the college you inform your uh, principal and uh, your principal will get it uh, just in seconds will that be available as soon as that never guys no sir no. right no sir why because no, no. all the information is managed in that register book and that register book where it is how the information is fetched it is a very very complicated part because you will go to the principal principal has to contact the respective head of the department then he will contact the respective class teacher and they have to see whether the teacher is there in the school or she has left the school or uh, or college or uh, if any if present then who was in charge in, during your last semester so it becomes very difficult to fetch that information guys right it is very difficult but similarly instead of maintaining that data suppose in those days instead of that if they used to manage a erp software because some colleges iit colleges or all other uh, autonomous colleges what we say they have implemented the erp software where the attendance is taken on a mobile app only guys like apps are created for each specific usage of the colleges as per their need right so what happens nowadays like when the teacher visits the class and she or he completes the class so they conduct that attendance status on the app only guys right so they put just present absent same what they used to put in register book they are putting it on the app now right so as soon as they update that status as after the class so that will be updated on the hod uh, desktop also it will be updated on the principal's chambers desktop also and within no second the principal can fetch that information so even suppose after 10 years down the line if you go to the college and ask the attendance that data will be safe and it will be there in front of the but even though the your principal might have changed but that information will be there in that erp software correct or no guys so i can get it just by putting your usa number the date or the semester information i can fetch that all the information so will that be a useful information to fetch correct or no guys so is that a useful software or no yes yes sir yes yes so this is where the company's growth is there guys so when you try to understand the importance of managing the data which is going to help an organization to grow guys because i'm just taking an example of an attendance status of one person guys right so just imagine if some some of your 10 15 friends together go and ask the attendance status and also they will ask the uh i uh, marks uh, they will ask you the semester marks everything so to fetch this information how much difficulty it is if you do it on a manual way and if you do it on a software getting guys and there sometimes it is like if you manage it on the software there is no need to go to the college also they must have given you the login id and password you can log in uh, even if that erp software is live so you can just log in on the internet nowadays and you can fetch all that information wherever you are there throughout this world at any corner right so that is where we need erp software guys right to manage interpret store the data and same the business are doing so <clears throat> this erp softwares integrate all different functions of an organization such as finance hr production quality supply chain service procurement accounting everything is you can say whatever departments are there in the organization every department com- com- combination will be provided in the erp softwares good uh, have you heard about tally guys have you all heard about tally yes sir okay so what type yes, of, what type of software is the tally guys 
इंफॉर्मेशन अकाउंट एंड फाइनेंस केस correct so suppose guys if i say manage production manage sales manage quality can you manage all of this in the erp uh, in this tally no sir, no, sir. Only, only financial transactions, transactions are, are done with the tally erp nine sir correct or no guys yes exactly so that that means what guys there is a limitation of the usage of that software ready because suppose if i want to manage my data of other department also then i have to buy a separate different software which is uh, there or which is giving me that facility so the tally cannot give me that then i have to take a license of tally also separately i have to take different software license also which is going to be a cumbersome that is what it is going to be a very very difficult uh, thing when you are going to combine all the information so we need a softwares which can provide a single source across all the data across all the organization it means there should be a single software which can manage all the departmental work okay it can be any department including your hr office work information accounting sales uh, uh, costing or it might be purchase or uh, what i say inventory uh, production quality everything everything should be managed within one system if if there is any such kind of software which can manage everything then it has got a lot of demand for big industries because when you go for this big industries like i took an example of tata motors so you can see the the complexity of the data is so huge because they are not present in only one location guys they have got uh, hundreds of plants all over the world so in that situation to manage the data with every department separately it becomes very difficult that's why i have written here so what is the procurement sir procurement is nothing but purchase guys in simple words purchase um, okay purchase. yeah so everything guys so that's why i have written your definition so they are going to integrate all these departments into a single system so the main goal of erp is to streamline business process and provide a single source of data across the organization why guys what happens if i provide a single source of data so this allows greater efficiency better communication better decision making across the different departments because suppose if there is some a uh, requirement of material in the production department so they have to raise a request right so as soon as they raise a request in the same software the information will come to the purchase department purchase department will raise the request to the vendor vendor will supply the material it will come to inventory department inventory department will invoice the material accounting department will make the, make the payment to the vendor so everything should be in loop guys correct or not everything should be linked if if you are using different software for every different department then it becomes very difficult to trace the information and there might be always a error between different segment so if i'm giving a combined information combined solution for all the department then that uh, solution or that software has got more demand rather than the single operated or single departmental software base understood so that's why big players will always go for big softwares so nowadays <clears throat> each and every industry guys okay they are looking for erp based software which can provide a single source across their organization so erp systems uh, can be local based local based means what guys they are they can be stored on your laptop also like on a uh, offline mode we call it as or cloud based also guys cloud based means uh, online based right i hope everyone use the google drive and all so just like cloud based you can access that information anywhere so cloud based applications have got Uh, have grown in recent years due to increased efficiency arising from information being readily available from any location with the internet access because you can access your google drive and all or one drive what we call so you can access that information anywhere you just have to have the internet connection you just need to log in and you can access that inform rather than going for what offline mode where you have to travel you have to take your laptop everywhere and all so that becomes a little bit complicated task for everyone guys right so that's why cloud based systems has got more demand in today's day 
So this kind of softwares which can manage your data are called as what guys? They are called as DMS softwares, data management systems. Good guys. And SAP is one among them. SAP is one of the ERP software which can manage everything into one platform. Getting this guys? Yes, sir. So that is all about ERP guys, right? So now let us proceed forward to our SAP software point of view now. <coughs> yeah, guys. As you can see on the screen, SAP. What does SAP stands for? SAP stands for Systems, Applications, and Products in Data Processing. See that the term in data processing is very, very important parameter guys. So main important why the SAP software was developed, it was developed in the year 1972 by some of the IBM employees and all. So they came, but initially it was not given as name SAP. Uh, it was some other name. Right now the company name is itself also SAP guys. Okay, so SAP AG, as you can see, it is a German based company. And it is, a, uh, what I say, uh, uh, if, you, if you just take out the US based countries, right, then it becomes the world's largest uh, non-US based company, uh, IT segment company in the world guys. Okay, so it is a very very huge company guys. So it has got more than 4 lakh customers. Okay, so more than uh, 2.5 lakh employees are there with the SAP software. So there are a lot of things guys going on and uh, they are getting in, evolved in each and every segment of the business guys. So it is not like only for manufacturing segment. You take any industry name guys, it is usable for each and every industry guys. So that is what the important. So nowadays even the small scale industries are also taking the license of SAP with the lower version because there are different versions of SAP available and we are going to take that. We'll speak to, we'll speak with that in the later on session. But let us understand this case. SAP stands for guys, systems, applications and products in data processing. And uh, these are SAP is a uh, Initially, it was a supply chain management development software. So they are involved in CRM also now. CRM means customer relationship management also. So they are uh, in every business process, guys. That's why I've written here uh, business operations and customer relations. They develop the software, enterprise softwares for managing the operations and customer relationships, guys. Now, the thing is, when you learn SAP, guys, now SAP has got two ends, guys, in that, right? One thing is we call it as technical part and one more end is called as functional end guys okay i have written very clear uh, differentiation between each of them in a bracket i hope you understood that part technical means what guys where you are going to get involved in the coding section like uh, those who are very well versed in the coding like those who are from computer science background or uh, they have done the course of like c programming java uh, python so if they want to develop the career they if anyone wants to get in the development of the sap uh, category so they can learn this uh, ABAP or basis language so this is nothing but a base language for our SAP platform so anyone who is interested in this category they can learn the SAP ABAP or basis and they can get their career growth in that of course there is a lot of growth in this and a good package but right now due to you as you all have seen that there is a recession uh, present at the uh, US and uh, uh, companies so there is a lot of layoffs at this duration even those who are uh, not involved in SAP I'm saying in one in other segments who are they are not who are in development testing job roles right so they are getting laid off right so you can see that is a session so there therefore we personally don't recommend to get into the technical part of SAP right now so you can then shift to the functional end base so functional end means where where it is going to be used for for what purpose the software has been developed for okay so it is going to be completely non-coding part so what is sap all about data management software i told you so how we are going to manage the data in through the functional end guys right that is that nothing but you are going to work on the software and manage the data but when you come for functional end also guys there are two sub classification in that one is called consultant job role and one is called end user job role so anyone knows guys what is the difference between consultant and end user ever heard about this at least consultant sap or uh, uh, end user 
Customer usage, correct. And consultant means? Okay. No worries, guys. I'll explain you in simple terms. Okay. Uh, let me take an example again, guys. Uh, let us say the Tata Motor itself, uh, they want to have the license of SAP, guys. Okay. They want the license of SAP software. Uh, so the Tata company, okay so they will contact the sap company and they'll say i want to implement the sap software in my company so give me the license so they will provide the license and there is a cost what data porters will pay to the sap company and they will buy the license case now i'll ask you one question guys now as soon as that license is bought by the tata motors do you think the software is ready to use it means directly as no, soon as sir. i take the license i can give it to the employees of the tata motors and they can directly create their day-to-day uh, -day tasks like say purchase order or they want to do the payments the invoice clearance or whatever other activities are there or the, the vendor negotiation create a vendor master so can you can they do all that day-to-day -day task readily no, sir. no, no. never guys okay not possible you about sap software guys let me take a simple example of your social media so let us say everyone is just using instagram whatsapp and all right so let us say that you have uh, installed the instagram for the first time in your new mobile right so or suppose you don't have any account on the instagram you are downloaded it for the first time so can you use the software directly without any setup guys no sir can you send no, your sir, friends some messages or put the status stories can you do this all things never right what do you have to do you have to first so set we, up we, your we, account we, 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 we. correct guys. you have to set up your account so whatever procedure you are doing initially that is to set up your account is nothing but what we call it as consultant job role guys so it means whenever anyone takes the license of sap software they have to set up the software as per their need understanding as per their need because every company is different correct or no even though they are in same business segment but companies process companies documentations companies uh, data management things companies departmental work everything will be different guys it will, it will be never same so every company wants to have the inf uh, software as per their convenience so who is going to do this this is done by the implementation team that is going to come under consultant job role. So the implementation projects we call. So where whenever any company takes the license of SAP software, this implementation team will visit the company. They will understand the process of their company by studying their in industry. Okay. And it is not like one or two days just like set up your Instagram account. So to, to set up it, so they can take a lot of time. So months of time guys. Sometimes it can go more than six months of time to set up the software for the industry because they have to run a lot of trial and error things so that everything is working or not to know. And after that, once the uh, software is ready to use, they will train the end user people. So who are end users now? The employees of the Tata Motors. Yes or no? Because if the Tata Motors is taking the software, so of course, even those employees might not know how to use the software. They might know what they are doing in the company, but they might not know how to do that task in the software. So what the implementation people will do, they will train the end users on only end user section. They will not train how to set up the software. No, they will train on how to use the software for their day to day task. Understood. So who are the end users? The employees of the companies who are going to use the software to manage the data. Getting this guys or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So these are end users guys. So now let us say that the setup is done and uh, the users are using the software. So do you think that these end users will never face any kind of issue for lifelong? They can face. They will face guys that is for sure because might be that today the so software might is, uh, is working properly tomorrow i want to implement a new process in my company or let us say tata motors has set up a new plant 
they want to put that name uh, new plant information also in the same software so who is going to do that case if any issue happens if any error comes in the software okay so end user don't know how to resolve that error because they have been trained on what how to use the software to manage the data they don't know how to resolve the issues case then there is a support consultant at the back end so this support team is always going to be supporting this end users for their day to day issues so whatever issue happens at the end user uh, part so those will be resolved by the support consultant guys understood so in consultant there are two categories one is implementation which is going to deal with setup of the software and there is support who is going to resolve the issues of the end users getting it so this is how actually your sap is uh, designed not only this case you take any erp software it is designed on the same parameters case so now the thing is when you come for functional end to learn the software so which category you are going to learn we always suggest to start with the end user section guys okay what is end user like because when you are going to get hired by some company already sap software will be there in their industry guys or any other erp software will be there they no one will tell you to set up the software and then use it never guys those are two different job roles only right so what we suggest is to get into consultant is a very very difficult task guys so we don't recommend that personally to anyone who is recently shifting their career to sap platform never guys so always go for end user section what is end user learn how to use a software how to manage the day to day task of the uh, company and you will be hired on that so once you build your experience with an uh, let us say 3 years okay down the line then you can again learn the consultant and shift your career in the consultant case because consultant job roles are not for the beginners here please do understand because if the end user is <clears throat> let us say some uh, 10% or 20% of the syllabus remaining 80% is the consultant only case so consultant is will be very very difficult okay very very huge and very very difficult right because you should know how to point out the issues and where exactly to go and set up the parameter so it is a difficult task so once you know how to use the software that is nothing but end user section then you can go to the consultant case so first when you don't know how to use the software itself then can you set up the software never case right so don't worry about the consultant parameters right now you worry about end user so based on how easily you understand the end user section based on you can based on that you can decide whether I, you can go for consultant level next or no correct okay? so if the end user is 1% then consultant is uh, 60 70% more difficult than that case understand so try to understand these things because i am telling uh, this is what we tell and guide every students every candidate every time guys because uh, whenever you take the course anywhere guys uh, sap when they say sap ml they directly teach you the consultant only guys without knowing what is required in the industry or how to train you on the software first of all right so i always recommend right always when you learn it for the first time always learn it from the end user segment getting okay? so in end user we have got lot of modules case because end user is where the employees are going to work and when employees comes it comes from every department right so we have materials management with the model which we are going to learn then we have sales and distribution which we called as sd then we have hr production planning plant and maintenance uh, fico finance integration and controlling quality management and many more guys okay there are more than 25 to 30 different modules for different kinds of activities going on in the industry okay it is not possible to learn each and everything guys but whatever module you are going to learn please make your self perfect in that and apply for different job roles getting this everyone yes yes sir, yes, sir. okay fine so <clears throat> so a bit about the scope of sap so i'll just brief you so as you can see a sap and innovate cloud company that has more than 200 million users worldwide and sap plays a major role in most of the industries like financial like agri business retail airline engineering construction and many more so roughly you can say 65% of the businesses in the us and more than 90% of the fortune 500 company use sap as their erp software good okay? because there is no other software which can manage the data as sap does 
in the world today okay so it has got a lot of uh, importance so you can learn so there are some companies name i have given here as an example those who uses the sap software so you can just go through them this is just for your information base okay and uh, now guys so uh, for today's introduction i wanted to tell you about this much factors only guys but apart from this also there are some more points which i want to discuss related to the software point of view just to the interview point of view but before getting there so anyone has got any questions on this anything not understood have they understood what is erp and sap all about yes can you explain the ERP in some other language like Hindi, Kannada or uh, Simple. Uh, so suppose, uh, shall I speak in Hindi? Hindi will be fine? Yes, sir. Kannada, Marathi, Hindi will be fine. Okay. So, ERP ka matlab kya hai? ERP ka matlab hai ki, uh, uh, ek एंटरप्राइज को एक कंपनी को अगर आ, कुछ भी इंफॉर्मेशन या फिर डाटा मैनेज करना है तो उसको हमें आ, एक टूल यूज करना पड़ता है विच इज जो हमें हेल्प कर सके मैनेज द डाटा सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्योंकि इधर कैसा रहता है हर कंपनी में बहुत सारा इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेज होता रहता है अब क्या होता है अभी हर कंपनी में बहुत सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स रहते हैं जैसे कि अभी अकाउंट्स होने दो परचेज रहने दो सेल्स रहने दो प्रोडक्शन रहने दो या फिर अगर तुम बैंकिंग सेगमेंट में भी जाओ सो so, हर तरफ बहुत सारे डिपार्टमेंट uh, अपने अपने डाटा मैनेज करते रहते हैं सो ई आर पी सॉफ्टवेयर क्या करते हैं ये सभी को कम्बाइन करके एक सिंगल पैरामीटर दे सके एक ही तरफ सभी इन्फॉर्मेशन को क्लब करके आउटपुट दे सके उसको हम बोलते हैं ई आर इसलिए मैंने उसको और एक नाम भी दिया था क्या बोलते हैं हम इसको डाटा मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम्स मतलब हमें मेन काम क्या है ईआरपी में डाटा को मैनेज करना है कौन से डाटा को अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के डाटा को मैनेज करना है इट कैन बी एनी काइंड ऑफ डाटा ठीक है तो यू कैन टेक एनी इंडस्ट्री केस Guys. so next thing is okay so i will tell you some points about the uh, software now see guys the software which we are going to issue to everyone after your registration process is done so i have clearly uh, told each and every point in the message i hope today morning i had sent the message i hope everyone has gone through that and some of you already registered and they have received the link also so i'll tell about that first and also we discuss about how to install and all those things guys so software which we are going to give is a sap ecc version 6.0 which is a offline mode server which is a offline oh. server okay why we are providing this offline server why not online so if you take online server guys then you have to pay 1000 rupees every month so if you want that we will provide that also guys you can use that uh, without any a uh, space requirement in your laptop you can directly take the online server and pay monthly 1000 rupees and use that software guys okay so there is no issue with that also but why offline server because uh, why simply to pay that extra because whatever software are providing that is going to come in your course fees itself and this will be lifelong access guys whatever data you are going to save it will be there in front of you of course when you join company it will be not having offline they are using online server but there is no difference between offline server and online server guys it is exactly the same okay so next is a uh, space requirement guys since we are providing offline server here right so how much space requirement you should have in your laptop or in your computers so minimum requirement is minimum i'm saying 240 gb of space should be available uh, in any one drive okay either your c drive or d drive or e drive you should manage a 240 gb of space beside this to speak with the ram uh, minimum again 4 gb ram guys and any operating system guys you take uh, uh, windows operating system sorry uh, i am saying only windows operating system guys no mac operating systems uh, so for mac 
we don't get this offline server they have to go for online server only so mac operating systems are not possible but in windows you can take any uh, a version guys windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 but uh, mandatory they have to be 64 bit guys 32 bit operating systems are not uh, workable so only 64 bit operating systems are uh, are are needed to install this software getting this Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. So, how do you get the software, guys? So, first of all, see uh, actual software size which I am going to provide, guys. Uh, that is SAP 2024 folder I am going to provide, uh, which is 206 GB, guys. But every I cannot provide to everyone 206 GB. So, therefore, we have compressed that file to 26 GB right and this link will be shared on your Google Drive once you register yourself you will get a Google Drive link uh, from my mail ID uh, that is chiranjv patil185 at the red gmail.com you'll get a link and you have to download it so how to download and how to install it i will be sharing a video as so after this class guys okay so you can go through that those who have received the link today they can just go through that uh, video first download this 26 gp guys and later on you can extract it to 206 gp and install it so how to do that all everything step by step we have explained in the installation video that i will share in the group guys directly <laughs> Okay, so need not to worry about this. <coughs> but this link will be getting to only registered candidates, guys, not to everyone. Okay, so after this, <coughs> once you receive this link, guys, you can get it. Now, the thing is that uh, those who stay nearby to Belgium, guys, because our office is in Belgium, so I recommend them to travel to our office and get this 26 GB file copied. Because guys, I uh, I have seen I have uh, seen so many uh, batches that uh, whatever the link they get on Google Drive, right? So sometimes on the first attempt only, it might not get downloaded, uh, guys. So sometimes like it goes to 10 GB, 15 GB, and it gets cancelled out, guys. Right? Again, you have to re-download it. So don't download it through mobile hotspots, okay, or mobile network, guys. It will be never downloaded. It will always give error. So use some good Wi-Fi network or a LAN connection in your home or in your office, wherever, or go to the uh, cyber cafe and uh, just download it from there, okay? But get that 26 GB file, guys. That is very, very important, okay? We can say this as a setup file. So once you have that 26 GB file, guys, then you can get this uh, 206 GB uh, within no time, guys, okay? So that is one important thing. Getting that, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this was about the software point of view. Next case, with respect to uh, the registration, I think everyone knows the registration process, guys. So that I have shared all the information in the group. If, if you are not received, I'll share it once again after this class. So I hope everyone knows the total course fees. Total course fees is 10,000 rupees, guys, right? which you can pay in one installment or you want to pay in two installments, you can take your time and you can pay that guys. There is no uh, hurry. I have given the last date to make a payment also to register yourself. You can pay to that exact number which I have shared. Please do not pay to our personal number guys. Okay. Neither to Anand sir or not, neither to me. Uh, we have given a specific number where you need to pay and please share the screenshot of that. Okay. And after this, there is one more extra charge guys that is for videos. Okay. So what we have done is we have made a lifelong videos uh, uh, available for you. So for that, you have to pay 499 extra and register yourself on our website. So how to get that? Now, some of you have already paid that 499 separately and uh, they have sent me the screenshot. No need to worries about that. Uh, we can give you the backend access, but you have to follow the process guys, how to register on the website. So I will share how to get registered yourself on the website and get the videos. You can get all first to last class videos on the first day only guys. Okay, everyone will get that. So you can just register there. So after sending this uh, uh, course fee screenshot, I'll share you this uh, steps guys, uh, how to register on the website and all. Then you can register yourself there and get all the videos guys. 
But when you come to videos, guys, there are two categories. One, because I have uh, seen it from multiple candidates, I have taken the feedback. So one is the website videos, guys. Okay, so which are pre-recorded. Okay, these are pre-recorded with each and every concept clearly explained in that. So you'll get out of syllabus uh, videos also topics which are covered everything in this uh, website guys where you register with the 499. But what I have seen is that every candidate once they are practicing the software and all they need a live session videos also. Okay, so for that I ha we have created a YouTube channel guys. Okay, so on this YouTube channel you will getting all the live session videos of day to day classes which are going on guys. And for this, you need not to pay any extra cost case that is with this website only. Website videos only will be available. Get it? So again, these live session videos will be uh, what I say uh, private videos guys. They will be not open to everyone. So those who register themselves and get the pre-recorded videos, only them for them, they will get the live session videos also. Day-to-day -day basis guys. Whatever today class is going on, after the class, you'll get it on your uh, mail id on the case directly so this live sessions will be there on the youtube case right but only thing is that these live sessions will be not for lifelong guys so this live sessions videos will be for three to four months maximum and after that again we have to upload the next batch videos guys so we don't have a lot of space available there and there are daily 10 to 15 batches going on so every batch if we keep on uploading daily then it takes a lot of space guys okay so it becomes very difficult for us to manage so therefore this live sessions will for next three to four months you'll be getting these videos but apart from that pre-recorded Arthur which are for lifelong days we can get go through that also okay both are of similar only guys everything will be covered step by step hello yes yes guys i'll come to that point also <clears throat> so uh is it clear with the videos part guys any questions here with the videos Any doubt with our videos part guys? I hope you got the videos clearly. Okay. So after this, you will be uh, having a course duration of one month. That is 30 days. And these classes will be Monday to Friday. And in some ex exceptional uh, cases, like if so many other holidays comes in between, then I will adjust it on Saturdays and Sundays also guys. Okay, if anything extra has to be covered, then we'll be covering it on Saturdays and Sundays because uh, most of who are working right now, they might not get time on day-to-day -day basis to practice. So Saturdays, Sundays will be your practice sessions. But I personally recommend that invest your time on day-to-day -day basis at least for half an hour for the practice case because weekly one's practice is not going to be a good point of view to get the jobs and all. So I request everyone to get that apart immediately like practice or after the class or before the class, you take one hour or after the class you take one hour and use that time to practice guys okay so that is the duration and as you said that uh, you want uh, the certification after course guys after the course completion so everyone will get the certificates also guys so here these certificates we will provide for three months of duration not for one month of course so these three months you can take any time guys Okay, so I'll tell you the importance at what duration you have to take the certificate. You can take a recent months certificate also, or you can take any back to date, cert date certificate also. So why it is needed that I will tell you because that is from job point of view, right? So those who are currently working, so how to show their profile and all those things that uh, I will tell you guys when to get uh, these certificates. Now at that point, I will tell you. So that is available and that is everything in the course fees itself. Guys. So apart from this, we are going to go with the interview process so when we go for interview process guys this is the last part after the course completion so when you go for interview process we will be covering everything guys starting from your uh, resume preparation that is mainly with your profile preparation okay whatever your previous background might be you might have worked previously or you might have uh, you are currently working in any of the business segments or any of the industry not an issue i request only those persons who are who have current who, who have the pf account 
so please see that uh, keep the respective documents clear of those pf account companies okay if not if you don't have the documents clear uh, then how to tackle that situation that also i'll guide individually guys because everyone have got a different scenario different uh, uh, lifestyle so everyone has got that doubts case okay but i personally recommend those who have the pf account or or currently working or previously work currently not working whatever the situation might be please keep your work experience documents clear when i say work experience documents it means your offer letter your bank statement that is salary slips and one more is experience letter so these three documents are more than enough uh, to get through the process even if some of you have absconded or you don't have that uh, documents so not an issue guys so those who don't have any experience don't worry guys so i'm not telling about them but those who have currently worked and are working so please keep these documents very clear of every company your work is i'm not saying only one recent one whichever companies have worked till date every one's company guys okay so how that is going to help i'll tell you guys when we come to that part so resume preparation then your nokri profile creations or job applications so all these uh, things will be uh, covered guys in our class and after this how to apply for the job okay job apply uh, which companies to apply how to crack the interviews okay interview preparation i'll call it as okay so all these things will be covered in our interview process but i want to give some uh, personal points uh, in the first day class itself guys uh, for those uh, who have never worked anywhere or who have worked but they do, but they don't have much exposure for the it related companies so bit of things are there or bit of skills are there which are required before you attend any of the interviews guys or on sap i'm saying so some basic skills guys what is required before you complete the course so you have i will give the 30 days of time to side by side develop those skills also so what are the skills you require guys first and the foremost is the communication skill guys okay how many of you agree that communication is important to crack your interview it's more important yes sir do you, do you all agree with me guys is communication important or no yes sir, yes, sir. very very yes, sir. important guys right because yes, let me ask you a simple question when you when you uh, uh, apply for the jobs and uh, get a call uh, who will first call you guys which is the first person who will call you charger charger yes, charger yes, yes, okay so do you think hr will ask technical question do you think hr knows how to use sap no. software what to questions no, to no. ask on sap no no then what they do they check it so basically what do they check they will check communication skill first question they'll ask you uh, tell me about yourself correct or no yes right tell me about yourself so what you are going to do you have to explain about what they are checking is the communication so they don't they are not worried about what you have done or what is your current profile they are not at all concerned about that they want to see based on your year of experience whether you can communicate easily or no what is their expectation whether you are meeting or no and based on that then they will go for take you to the next round that is technical part so communication if you are unable to crack the hr round itself guys then it is very difficult to get through the technical understood so communication in hr round at least it will be very very basic things they can ask you some personal informations your family background informations your day to day profile work or in simple your current ctc expectation are you ready to join immediately such kind of basic things guys so what they are doing they are checking your communication and i have seen in all the interviews communication will play a important role so i request everyone to develop your english communication skill guys i am not saying too high uh, high high level of english but at least you should be able to introduce yourself understand you should be able to speak about yourself for at least one minute if you are unable to do that then it becomes very very 
difficult to crack the interview skills so those who don't have this thing please improve your skill you have got 30 days of time please do improve that okay next is using the ms office tools what are ms office tools guys which are the ms office tools excel उटलुक वन ड्राइव करेक्ट सो दिस एम एस टीम्स आउटलुक वन टाइम दैट इज सेकेंडरी गेस ओके बट वॉट अबाउट एक्सएल वर्ड पावर पॉइंट इन दैट ऑल्सो एक्सएल गेस वन एस एक्सएल आई एम नॉट सेइंग लाइक बेसिक एक्सएल हाउ टू एंटर द इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ टू ओपन द एक्सएल एंड ऑल नॉट गेस नॉट दैट वन वन एस एडवांस एक्सएल यू शूड नो हाउ टू यूज द कंडीशनल फॉर्मैटिंग्स ओके हाउ टू यूज द पीवॉट टेबल्स हाउ टू यूज द लुकअप फंक्शंस but right? yes, because yes. it is very much important for reporting guys everyone will do reporting in every industry you should know how to use excel of course in some industry they might be using some other uh, high end tools like power bi and all those things but if you don't have the excel basis then it is difficult to learn those also guys now leave about power bi and all i don't know how many of you have learned that one or learning that software or working on that software but excel is a mandatory even if you know the excel completely some of sometimes it might be that they will hire you only on excel also guys if you know how to manage the reports you know excel so excel is a very very powerful tool guys so please do practice on advanced excel guys when i say excel so please make a note that is advanced excel getting it so please work on that skill guys and side by side word powerpoint presentations are there guys in every company but that you can manage guys if anyone can help but excel is a very important thing apart from that when i say teams and all so everyone has attended the meeting through teams only i have sent the link of teams so you should know how to use the uh, tools uh, of teams and all like how to use the information because when you join any professional uh, uh, company or uh, world so all the informations will be fetched through my ms office tools only like if you if any mail comes so outlook is a mailing system guys just like uh, google your gmails are there so it is like a outlook mailing system so how many of you on day to day basis uh, uh, use mails guys how many of you know to write a proper mail old mail the mail guys simple mail professional mail how many of you daily use the mails guys yes yes hmm those who are currently working they might be using it on day to day basis sir correct correct yes sir yes, 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 they are currently working but i don't know how many of you who are not ever come across this kinds of thing uh, but because you see guys mails are a common mode of communication in every company rather than uh, what i say whatsapp and all how you chat with your friends and all no so in professional world mails are only the mode of communication getting okay? so everyone should know to write a proper mails guys i have seen the students they have got shortlisted here guys uh, because most of the interviews will be virtual so they have given the uh, all the technical part and all and when they joined the company and their onboarding process was was there on the first day they were kicked out of the company guys because they were unable to write a mail to their manager by showing 2 years of experience in their resume are you getting this guys because these are also going to play important role to get a job so don't think that learning just sap is going to get you the job getting guys right yes yes sir so everyone yes, yes, should know how to use this so if if you don't have outlook account guys not an issue guys at least everyone has got gmail account so they have got gmail in the, on their 
mobile app everyone has got uh, android phones guys don't say no to that now and uh, everyone can open their gmails at least try to uh, make some uh, mails guys uh, try to compose some mails to your friends or some of your colleagues try to learn how to what is the meaning of uh, uh, like recipients what is cc bc how to start your mail how to end your mail what are the regards so they don't know anything guys they just write like on a whatsapp chat and they send that one guys so your client are all non indian uh, 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 customers guys they are all like uk us based so their language will be very very high guys right when you try to communicate with them so you have to attend the meetings in future so if you want to grow guys then you should have this basic skills developed understood and after this the last key will be our sap skill guys which we will be dealing with so anyone wants to explore more about this they can just visit our website or just share so uh, we have uploaded a lot of videos with respect to each and every concept on our drive, on our website also you can go through them and learn or if you have any other free free platforms like udemy or uh, like youtube channels are there or on a uh, lot of on instagram only there are a lot of pages where they will teach you the excel concepts and all so if you have time please do invest your time in that and learn these skills guys okay you have got this 30 days of time which you have to utilize properly can you get the note yeah yes of course the pdf and all i will be sharing guys need not to worry about that okay i'll share this pdf guys don't worry yes guys so this was all about for today for an introduction part so uh, tomorrow you can take your time uh, tomorrow i'll give one day off for installing the software guys because once i start with the actual syllabus of sap mm i need everyone to get the software installed or ready with them guys okay of course we don't require the software usage in the class i will be teaching so i request everyone to just concentrate on the screen once the class is over you need to immediately practice it guys okay because that practicing was hardly 5 to 10 minutes i'll be teaching for one hour but when you practice it it will be hardly 5 to 10 minutes guys right if you do it on day to day basis so i just request it so uh, tomorrow you can take your time to get the software okay. downloaded and installed as per the installation video i'll share it in a group right now and go through that guys <coughs> getting guys everyone yes 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 yes